Let's learn about addition of vectors using parallelogram law. As a student, the first thing that you need to know about parallelogram law that it will give the same resultant as a triangle law gives. Both parallelogram law and triangle law are suited for different kinds of scenarios that you will learn in later chapters in detail. So let's go forward and see how do we exactly add two vectors using parallelogram law. Over here on the board, you can see that I've considered two vectors A and B that I'm supposed to add using parallelogram law. Now, unlike triangle law, I have to place the vectors in a slightly different way when I have to add them using parallelogram law. The way I place the vectors is that their tails should be coinciding as shown in the figure. So over here you can see the tail of both B and A start at the same point. Now in order to add them, I have to draw two lines parallel to each of the vectors in this fashion. So over here you can see I have drawn one set of line parallel to B and the second line parallel to A and this completes my parallelogram over here. Now in order to obtain the resultant vector using parallelogram law, all I have to do is join the body diagonal of the parallelogram that passes through the point of coincidence of tails of the vectors. So over here, this diagonal won't be considered as my resultant, but this diagonal will be considered as my resultant. If I draw the resultant vector separately, it will look something like this, starting at the point of coincidence of tails and ending at the point of coincidence of the dotted line I created. Adding multiple vectors using parallelogram law. Over here, I have A, B and C vectors that I'm supposed to add using parallelogram law vector addition. Over here, the way you have to proceed is just the same as triangle law that you have to take any two vectors first and get their resultant and add the third vector to the resultant that you obtained. Over here, I have chosen A and B as my two vectors as you can see and I have added them using parallelogram law. How did I do that? I have to complete the parallelogram by drawing lines parallel to both B and A and the resultant vector is simply the body diagonal that starts at the point of coincidence of tails of the original vectors. Now this is my resultant and I have to add it to the third vector C and that's exactly what I have done in the next diagram. I have added the resultant S with the third vector C. Once again I have to place the two vectors so that their tails are coinciding. Then I have to complete the parallelogram by drawing lines parallel to C and S. And once I have done that, the red vector that I have obtained is my resultant vector F. If we have more than three vectors, let's say four or five vectors, we have to proceed in the same fashion that we have to find the resultant of any two first, then add it to the third one and find their resultant, add it to the fourth one until I reach the point where I have exhausted all the vectors. The final resultant left f vector will be my final sum. So summarizing what we just learned, the first thing that we should know is that triangle law of addition and parallelogram law of addition gives out the same resultant as my answer. Both the different methods of triangle law and parallelogram law are suited for different kind of situations. In case of addition using parallelogram law, the first thing I have to do is to place the vectors by their tails. And then I have to complete the parallelogram by drawing lines parallel to both the vectors. Once I have done that, I have to connect the body diagonal which passes through the point of coincidence of the uh, original vector's tails. The resultant vector shall start at the tails of original vectors and its head should end at the point of coincidence of dotted lines. To add multiple vectors using parallelogram law, I have to choose any two of them first, find their resultant and add it to the third vector. If I have more vectors, I can just keep on adding them in the same fashion until I have exhausted all the vectors and the final resultant left is my sum. Thank you.